would like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth. Jay Wendell Gordon, some breaking news today happened in the case of Anthony Anderson. Yes, we filed a $20 million lawsuit against uh, the detectives responsible for the death of Anthony Anderson, and we also filed the same $20 million lawsuit. That The same $20 million lawsuit also includes the Baltimore City Police Department. Why so? Well, the Baltimore City Police Department ratified the excessive use of force by those who are responsible for the uh, homicide of Anthony Anderson, so they are too responsible for his death. And this was an African-American male? This was an African-American male. If you recall, on September 21st of 2012, he was walking across a vacant lot when he was attacked by the, by behind, uh, attacked from behind by uh, Detective uh, Todd Strowman, picked up and slammed to the ground head and neck first, and then Todd Strowman... Uh, Michael Voderick and Greg Boyd commenced to kicking him uh, repeatedly, forcefully, and violently in his chest, in his ribs, and in his back. And as a result, they ruptured his spleen. He bled out to death in front of his mother and his two-year-old granddaughter. And Baltimore City State's Attorney Greg Bernstein thought there was no reason to charge these officers with any crime. Right. Greg Bernstein refused to prosecute these officers despite uh, clear and convincing evidence from the family members of Anthony Anderson, that he was kicked to death. Sounds like we will be seeing you at the bank. Oh, you, well, I don't know about that at the bank, uh, but we definitely will be seeing me in the courtroom uh, trying to get justice for this family. It's not about the money, it's about justice. The warrior lawyer. Anything you want to add? Uh, just stay tuned and, and follow this case closely. Good deal. Thank you, Jay Wendell Gordon. Keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth.